joining me on Startup Report today is a gainfully employed, super hardworking power generator for our city, Mark Lombardi Nelson, and an unemployed <laughs> vagrant <laughs> living out of a van. <laughs> Sean Amarnani, welcome, sir. Hey, good to be here. So we're here to talk about a couple of things. Uh, St. Peter's for Tech is, is the main thing, but uh, we're also celebrating you uh, temporarily retiring from active, uh, the active world of uh, legal mitigation or litigation, excuse me, and uh, taking a, a bit of a journey. What was the uh, motivation behind that and where are you going and how's that all rolling? Yeah, yeah. So it's it's exciting news. My wife and I are going to take a seven, eight month sabbatical um, where we're going to be traveling around the world. Uh, we're basically uh, getting on a plane and, and heading east. And uh, we're going to start by probably going to Iceland, Ireland, uh, Scotland, London, and then we're going to kind of figure it out from there. Very nice. The figure it out part's fun. Yeah, yeah, it will be. We're, we're excited. We've had a few friends that have kind of taken this journey and we decided that we wanted to try doing this while we're Oh, we can still do the hikes and, and do all the exciting adventure stuff. Very cool, very cool. Hashtag millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Older side of millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag borderline millennials. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, uh, before we get into same Petis for Tech, shoot the thrill. It's a legend. Oh, man, we're here. It's going great. Uh, yeah, so me and my partner, Matt, Matt Foreman, we're uh, co-founders of Shoot the Thrill Media. It's a web development agency specifically built to make um, website access affordable to artists, entrepreneurs, innovators, traditional businesses that want to streamline their efficiencies. And it's going great. Um, you know, we passed that 100 client mark this last year, which is awesome. And we're continuing to grow. Um, we've implemented some really interesting systems to scale and automate some different types of work. And we're looking to do some really fun things come beginning of 2020. So that process is great. Very grateful um, for all the people we've had the privilege of working with. You know, we've done, you know, Rumfish Grill locally. We've worked on Welch's as like a national account. Um, though we pride ourselves on being able to help the startups, the people who are brand new to business, who have the new idea, who have the acumen in an industry and are leaving from a company to their first venture and really providing the resources and the support to help them be successful and stay local. So let's follow that that thread a little bit since this is Startup Report. You mentioned people who are going out on their own, mm -hmm. starting up businesses of their own. Uh, what are some of the what are some of the biggest hurdles that they tend to come to you with and, and how do you solve those? Yeah, I think uh, that's really funny to say that. I had a, a meeting just this last week with someone who wasn't necessarily a client and or a client prospect, though it's new business conversation. And he's just, where do I start? Um, and he's playing in the restaurant side of things. And so we're, it's really just, specific to each business, though the infrastructure needs are typically the same. How do we identify the problem? How do we test and vet that the market's ready and validate that the problem is solvable in a way that's meaningful to that entrepreneur? And how do we give them the support and the systems and the infrastructure to be successful? Whether that's team dynamics, whether that's software, whether that's relationships within the city, um, and just putting that together in one piece. So for every business, it's a little different. So that internal management and that vision of doing the things that don't scale up front and then putting in the pieces to make it work long term is really where we try and help and give the consultation to those people. And uh, you, I don't think you, very, you barely mentioned web development in there. So it's a lot more than web development. Yeah, I don't get paid for that. <laughs> that's, that's more so, uh, you know, we like to be a resource and I just like to be a service to people who are passionate and looking to do things. We happen to build websites. Right. and. We do it extremely affordably and extremely thoughtfully. Um, and so when it makes sense for a person to come to us for that, we're always happy to help. Though we really pride ourselves on being able to act as a hub and a repository for all of the players and all of the needs that a business owner um, would have as they're starting. So if someone needs an accountant or if someone needs legal services or if someone needs to test manufacturing in a specific area, um, you know, we try and help those people and serve as a conduit to get them the resources that they need. That's great. And that makes you a good, a good fit for the, the main topic of our, of our visit today. And that is, uh, you started how long ago, uh, St. Peter's for Tech? Yeah. So about roughly two and a half, three years ago, we, I, I was just, uh, bored during a holiday season and I, I really realized that there was a need, um, in, uh, St. Petersburg for just a, a landing page for showing the great things that were going on in our community, in the tech community. 
Uh, like back then, uh, I think if you typed in St. Pete and, and tech in Google, it came up with Pinellas Tech. Right. And, you know, there wasn't, there were a few articles about Tampa that came up, but there weren't really, there wasn't really any information about how we have three Fortune 500 companies like right in our backyard and how we had great startups at, like at the time, um, you know, Ruben Pressman's company, uh, Check I'm Here, now, now Presence, and Rachel Ooh. Carpenter's uh, company in Trinio. And um, even Kyle, Kyle Taylor's uh, company, Penny Hoarder, mm -hmm. just great, great companies that that were uh, that were starting up and having some success. And really, you could not find this stuff if you if you searched on the internet for it. So, I came up with uh, this St. Peter's for Tech concept, and really just to kind of create a landing page for anybody who wanted to find more information about some of the tech happenings happening in, in St. Pete. And it's it's been good. It's um it's it's been more passive. But um, we've been able to, you know, show some of the companies and spread spread more information. I've had some journalists tell me that they've been happy that they've had that as a resource, so they they can find out more about these companies, and and they've actually found out these com about these companies through our site. And we've even recru recruited a few companies that have looked at information about St. Petersburg, and uh, they've used our our site as a resource. But now we're trying to kind of take it to the next level, hmm. and that's why I wanted to bring Mark uh, Lombardi on as as part of part of my team here. To, to really just help the, move the site into the next evolution, which is to really try to help other solve other uh, tech issues and tech problems with, within our community. Yeah, man. So. so as you go on the LAM, then you'll be handing off kind of day-to-day -day or month-to-month -month duties to Mark. And uh, so what does that look like? What are some of the things you have in store for, for, for moving forward and, and adding new, new pieces and, and implementing new strategies? Yeah, so I think with with our um, community, we we have a just an amazing amazing community over here. We have amazing waterfront parks. We have the quality of life that's great over here in, in St. Pete. Um, but we we do need more tech talent. And I think with our site in the future, I think one of the one of the opportunities to to solve that I think what what Mark brings uh, is the capacity to create uh, revamp our site and basically create a site that actually is more active. And trying to get more tech talent into St. Petersburg, I think that's a that's a great opportunity that that exists over there. And then, kind of, you know, when a tech professional comes over here, what do they do? How do they get plugged in? If they want to find a job, if they're a tech professional, they don't have a job yet. Where do they go? And these more nuanced problems um, that you know that makes life easier for the tech professional that's trying to move over to St. Petersburg. And what what resonated with you when? Uh... You already have a considerable list of tasks <laughs> on the to-do list. Yeah, this is a natural fit. Yeah. Uh, working with Sean and joining the St. Peter's for Tech team, you know, we get to come across so many fun businesses and so many passionate people on a day-to-day -day basis. And the opportunity to contribute in a thoughtful way to take a step back, leverage the relationship, my own relationship with, you know, all right, we yes, we own this web development company, graduate of the Suncoast Developers Guild, you know, advocate for all things St. Petersburg. And we think about how we can thoughtfully grow and how, how we can facilitate change and impact to economic development and how that really facilitates a greater good for all of us here. And I think it's just directly aligned with our values and missions. And that's why we work really well together. Um, and being able to play and get to, you know, work towards the problems of how do we address the skills gap that exists? How do we address the educational material that exists in the way that people receive information? The way that professionals have access to find opportunities that are not just, you know, meaningful and, you know, well paid, though how they can think about themselves five years, 10 years, a lifetime away and how we can show and prove to people that St. Pete really is the home that they're looking for that they never knew about. Um, so that's really exciting to me to be able to be a conduit, to be a player, to educate and facilitate access to a whole new pool of talent that we know deserves to be here, live here, play here, and love here. Wonderful. And all that feeds into economic development. And I know that you, as you get leads, you work with uh, JP at the EDC and you've passed some successful leads over to him. Yeah, yeah, it was it was uh, super exciting. We, Track 8 Media actually um, came to us after looking at our site and wanted to know more information. So when we referred, it, referred them to JP and What's great about JP is he's he's on it. I mean, he he gets on it and he really sells the city and he does a really great job with it. Um, so it's it's been exciting to see that as a, as a result. And you know, we feel, we feel like we just we've just hit the the tip of the iceberg here. I mean, we can really uh, build this into something more 
that is uh, proactive and can really get out there and, and try to bring even more companies into St. Pete. Cool. So do you guys, uh, you know, logistically, all the meetings between you two will be in person wherever Sean is? Is that the idea? <laughs> and, uh, some kind of a rescue plan if you don't hear from him. And you know, I, I'm, last, last seen in Iceland. I'm excited to not hear from Sean for a long time. Uh, I, I, there's at least a rule that I'm saying to him where I don't want to hear from you for at least a month. Um, take a break, breathe. You've worked really hard for the last decade plus. You deserve some time. Uh, in the interim, while Sean's away, my number one job is to listen. Mm -hmm. I think that is the most important thing. You know, we all have our silos that we play in. We all have, you know, our intrinsic biases in the communities that we serve. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be super important to continue to spend time around the people who are passionate, around the people who are taking action accordingly and listen to their concerns. We have assessments, we have thoughts, we have information based on what we've seen already, though it's important to take another assessment mm -hmm. and understand the problems that we're solving. And, and right now we've broken it down into three categories. It's for the tech professional, it's for the tech company, and then it's for the community at large, layman or techie alike. Uh, and it's gonna be really interesting for us how we break down the problems that we have the opportunity to address and potentially solve. Wonderful. And to learn more, stpeteisfortech.com, also active on social media. Um, and we'll look forward to watching the magic happen. Hey, looking forward to it. You guys will be a great, a great team. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.